Hey everybody, Sean here with TazCam. Today I have a really awesome piece of gear to show you. This is the TA1VP, the world's only auto-tune equipped hardware processor. It's not only an auto-tune device though, it's a fully functional channel strip that comes equipped with high quality preamps, an EQ section, dynamics which includes compression and gate, and also Antares mic modeling technology. So, while this is an amazing piece of gear for recording and performing live, tuned vocals, this is also a fantastic option for broadcast vocal implementation. When most people hear the word auto-tune, they automatically think of T-Pain, Kesha, Travis Scott, Migos, or maybe even Cher. However, there's a whole other side to this effect. People like Faith Hill and Tim McGraw have been known to use auto-tune to keep their vocal very tight and very on pitch during live performances. So. Let's jump in and get a closer look at everything that the TA-1VP has to offer. When starting the unit up, the first thing you should notice are presets. This is to help you get up and running with whatever project that you have to work on. In addition to the great vocal presets, there are also some that are specifically designed for instruments. To make edits to the mic modeling section, start by turning it on and then select Source. Here you'll be able to scroll through a list of different microphones. If yours isn't on there, just select the one that's closest. Click on Model and this will give you the Output Model. There's a lot of different microphones in here from vocals to instruments. Push Tube and you'll have access to change the amount of tube warmth on the microphone. Click Low Cut and you'll have access to both low cut filters for the source and the modeled microphone. To edit pitch correction, first turn it on, then press the Scale button. The first scale that comes up is Chromatic but all 12 major and all 12 minor scales are here for you to edit. Push the speed button to make adjustments to the correction speed. Zero is fastest, and as the number gets larger, the correction time is slower. This is how fast Auto-Tune grabs onto your note. For compression, turn the gain reduction on, then press Compressor. You'll be taken to a screen where you can adjust threshold, ratio, and makeup gain. You can also adjust the compressor attack time, as well as the compressor release time, you can also change the knee by pressing the knee button from hard to soft. Finally, you can adjust the gate with the threshold and the gate ratio. For the de turn that on and then click the de button. Here, you'll have the threshold and the de ratio. You can also select a high pass frequency as well as the de attack time and the de release time. To edit the EQ, turn that section on and then click EQ band one. Here, you'll be able to adjust the EQ, high shelf, low shelf, peak, notch, and different band passes. You have the same option for the EQ too. Turn on the output to be able to adjust double tracking. This is the feature that allows you to split the signal, one with the affected auto-tune and the other without. Lastly, you're able to adjust the output gain or bypass it completely. Now that we've covered all the features of the unit, let's see how we can use this for vocal production in your studio. I'm no R&B singer, but I did make this R&B track so we can check out exactly how you can use this and maximize it to your benefit. So let's give that a listen. So here's this R&B track and I'm going to play the main vocal for you and this is the tuned vocal. Can I call you So as you can hear, that is doing its job. This song is in C major, so it's only putting the vocal notes on C major notes. I have a second track here. This is a harmony track. It's the same TA-1VP with the TM-180 microphone, and this is also processed. Here are these together. Can I call you baby? So just for a little bit of clarity, we've heard the main vocal track that's processed with auto-tune, the harmony track that's processed with auto-tune, both of these going through the same microphone. So now what I'm going to do is show you the processed main vocal track, which is the TA-1VP, the TM-180 microphone, up against the unprocessed vocal track, the same exact setup with the same exact processing within our DAW. So 
So hopefully there you could hear the difference. And then at the very end, the very last ooh note was panned hard left and right. The left was the unprocessed. The right was the auto-tuned track. In addition to the obvious benefits of recording music, this is a great channel strip for all of your audio broadcasting needs. What you're hearing now is a great solution for podcasting, voiceover work, narration, or any other sort of vocal-based audio production. Currently, I'm using the mic modeling function. So I have a Tascam TM180 large diaphragm condenser. So as the input microphone, I selected the large diaphragm condenser, and then as the output, I selected large diaphragm condenser number three. I just sort of felt that this sounded better for the implementation that I'm going for right now. The unit is taking the EQ curve of the input microphone and then changing that and making that match the EQ curve of the output microphone. I have the compressor set fairly aggressively to give it that podcast radio host sort of vibe that we're all very used to. In addition to that, I have the gate set so that when I quit speaking, no audio passes through the unit. As you've seen, this piece of gear is very easy to use. If you don't like using plugins, the TA1VP can step in and help you out in the studio. If you happen to be using a lot of robotic auto-tune on your records or on your mixtapes, you can pop the TA1VP into your live rig and you can make your live performances sound just as amazing and as articulate as your records. Or if you need that extra little boost live, you can lessen the robotic effect and then add clean, crisp, and transparent tuning to your performance. As you saw and heard earlier, this is a really great channel strip for podcasts, for interviews, narration, or any sort of broadcast vocal implementation. Thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Enjoy your day.